Hello, Fight fans. Marcus Hayes with Fight Hub TV here with my guy. You see him, Mr. Brandon Figueroa, ahead of his rematch with cool boy Stephen Fulton Jr. February 1st at T-Mobile Arena. Brandon, rematch time. Here we go. Talk to us about the matchup. Man, three years in the making. Uh, probably one of the most anticipated fights. Uh, I know the boxing fans have been waiting for this one. I've been getting messages left and right. When are you going to get the rematch? When are you going to get the rematch? And I tell my fans, be patient. It's coming. And, I mean... Look at the stage now under one of the biggest cards of 2025 under David Mora and David Benavides. Uh, Co-headlining Timo Arena, man. It's it's very exciting, man. I'm very, I'm just very happy to be getting the opportunity. So big shout out to Stephen Fulton for setting the fight. And, you know, let's give the fans what they want. A rematch of one of the best fights a couple of years ago. Uh, one of the most heated, spirited battles uh, ended up. On the short end of the stick, something that a lot of fight fans don't agree with. How do you, we heard you up here say, I'm not letting this go to the judges. How do you get a guy like Stephen Fulton Jr. out of there? You've seen Inouye do it before. What can you take away from that victory so you can hold the day? Yeah, I feel like I got to trust in my abilities more. You know, I feel like I pressed him too much, that I smothered myself. Uh, you know, I can box. I, I have other abilities that I didn't showcase that fight. And I feel like, you know, this February 1st, I'm going to showcase everything. I'm going to showcase why I'm the best 126 pounder and uh, uh, just go out there and make a statement. You talked about it before that you've been waiting and waiting to get back with Stephen Fulton Jr. Take us back to the night that you lost. Uh, what were the feelings and emotions kind of that when, when you left the arena? What was, what was something that you were thinking that you say, man, if I get another chance, I would do blank? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe just take a little step back, be more patient. Uh, Trusting my boxing a little bit, a little bit more. Um, I like I said, I feel like I pressed him too much. I was going too much of the body. Uh, but this time around, I know what I must do. I know my game plan, and I'm going to work uh, this training camp for it. And, uh, yeah, I don't take nothing away from Stephen Fulton. He's a great fighter. Um, and I just want to go out there and make a statement, man. I, this, is, this is my division, and, and I want to prove that. You talked about fighting guys like Nyoya Inouye who dispatched of cool boy Steph uh, kind of early in the fight. Um, what makes you feel like, hey, I'm the guy that can probably take Inouye out if, I'm, if given the opportunity? Of course, man. I mean, this is, this is what I'm, I'm in the sport for, is to fight the best of the best. And right now, Inouye is probably one of the pound-for-pound pound best. So if me beating him, I mean, I feel like that will elevate me to, to probably one of the best. So... That's 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 what I'm in the sport for, you know. I've been telling my dad ever since I started this is that I want I want the best of the best. I want, put me up put put me up against whoever, uh, all Heyman and Luis de Cubas, PBC have a lot of confidence in me due to that because I never ducked no one. I've, I've always, I'm fearless, man. I'm I'm a fearless traditional Mexican fighter, and I have that warrior spirit in me, and I just want to keep going out there and keep beating the top level guys. What do you say to the fans that? stood with you last time out and that are expecting you to get it done uh, versus Steven this time around. Oh, yeah, I've been getting a lot of comments, even people that thought that Fulton uh, won last time, they're rooting for me now. Um, but, you know, that that's how part of the sport, you know, fans love love big fights. Fans love exciting fights. So uh, I'm in a very exciting, aggressive fighter as well as David Benavides. That's why he's one of my favorite fighters right now. So I'm happy to share the card with him because, you know, it's going to be an action-packed card and, you know, we're both going to leave it on the ring. So uh, I know Stephen Fulton is going to be very well prepared and we're going to give fans a great show. And when we talk about the main event, David Benavidez versus David Morrell Jr., this is probably the best fight that could be made in the division right now outside of the champion, Arthur Betterbeev. Talk to us about what do you think about the main event? Uh, we know you'll be watching, but what do you think about the fight being on the card with David Benavidez and David Morrell, two of the best guys in the sport, bar none? Man, it's an honor. Like I said, it's an honor. You know, uh, like I said, we're probably one of the best cards of 2025. And we're going to kick it off, man. We're going to kick off the year strong with PBC uh, Prime Video. And if you don't pay to watch it, man, uh, hopefully you guys come out of the T-Mobile Arena and see it live because, like I said, it's going to be electric. The atmosphere is going to be crazy. For real, real boxing fans, you guys are really, really going to enjoy this fight. So, uh I'm just, like I said, I'm very excited and especially none other than to share uh, the card with Benavidez and uh, Moreau. David Benavidez being named by Mike Tyson, uh, the Mexican monster, fought Friday against Jake Paul. What did you think about the matchup? Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, 58 years old, fell short. Uh, in a lot of people's eyes, a lot of people were very disappointed. But what did you think about the fight? You know, I just, I'm just happy Mike didn't get hurt. I'm happy he, he got paid. You know, he made a payday. 
Man, I, I love Mike. I feel like everyone loves Mike. Uh, just seeing him uh, uh, wince in pain and, and seeing him, you know, struggle a little bit, I know it hurt everyone. So, uh, you know, but big shout-out to Jake and, and Mike Tyson for putting up a fight of that caliber. Uh, you know, even though they're not uh, – well, Jake is not a real boxer. You know, he, he put up some good fights, man. And I feel like the fans love the real fight, the real professional fights, which is Barrios and Ramos and Ser Serrano and Taylor. They love those fights. Why? Because – professionals there's a difference between professional and uh, youtube fighters well there you have it fight fans definitely a real fighter here and let me mention my dude is sharper than a christmas chitlin cleaner than a christmas chitlin what you got on here bro is that some corduroy what is that yeah it's a, it's a little corduroy i think it says mr money man in the back okay uh, i mean it's cool you know uh, uh i like to you know uh be a little dripped out but you know uh I like to be more dripped out in the night when, uh, you know, I have my hand raised. <laughs> Once again, Fight Fans, is Marcus Hayes with Fight Hub TV with my guy, Brandon Figueroa. Check him out. February 1st, T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada versus the one and only cool boy, Steph. We'll talk to you soon, bro. Yes, sir. Appreciate it.